Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. The world's best and worst smells. The AFLW Awards. And why do dogs make this face? Now hit that subscribe button, and the first ten of you get to see me do this. Wow. Scientists in the UK have worked out what the world's best and worst smells really are. Gladys sniffs out the answers. Hey, have you had Come here. Now what you're about to witness is a full body experience. I've just discovered the world's best smell. It's... It's vanilla. That's right. A team of scientists at the University of Oxford have uncovered the world's best and worst smells. And coming in first place is vanilla. Scientists asked 235 people from around the world to rank 10 cents from pleasant to unpleasant. They found sweet smells were the most pleasant to most people, which is why vanilla took the crown. It was closely followed by a chemical that smells like pineapples and peaches, while flowery scents came in third. The most unpleasant, sweaty feet. Or rather, isovaleric acid, which is something you'll find in cheese, soy milk and apple juice. Huh? I like apple juice. The study is not just important for ranking smells, Scientists also found that people from all around the world tend to like and dislike similar scents, regardless of their lifestyle and cultural background. If you take those shoes off, I quit. Two missing notebooks once belonging to British scientist Charles Darwin have been mysteriously returned. Charles Darwin is known for his theory of evolution, and some of his early work is found in these very notebooks but they went missing from Cambridge University 20 years ago and were thought to be stolen. They've now been anonymously returned with a note that just says, Happy Easter. There have been tears. There have been tears and I think there still will be because we're not over the emotional roller coaster. It means so much to us to have these home. More importantly, they're still in excellent condition. Last night, the AFLW celebrated its night of nights. There was glitz, glamour, and of course, lots of awards. Check it out. Emily Bates has been crowned the AFLW's best and fairest. That's really more of a medal. After an unbelievable season, the Brisbane Lions vice captain took out the top award. She is a star of this competition. Beating out Crows midfielder Anne Hatchard by a single vote. This is just obviously the greatest honour you could ever receive, so I'm just really proud and, yeah, in shock but happy. But the awards didn't end there. North Melbourne's Talia Randall took home Mark of the Year. She's so good in the air. While Frio's Ebony Antonio won Goal of the Year. What a remarkable goal to get us started. There were five new faces in the All-Australian team. There they are. While the rest of the team was dominated by Crows and Melbourne. The two sides are gearing up to face each other in this week's grand final at Adelaide Oval. It's the fourth time the Crows have made the grand final. And with the SA government just announcing free public transport for all supporters, they're hoping to get thousands of fans out for the big dance. Go the Crows! These are my personal views on the sport of football and do not represent the views of the ABC. Thank you. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but uh, these next stories prove that's not always the case. OK, so this picture, or rather drawing, by the famous Italian Renaissance artist Michelangelo is not worth a thousand words. It's worth about $43 million. Now it's being auctioned off in France. Researchers from Pittsburgh in the US have been looking into how dogs give us those adorable and yet slightly worried and vulnerable puppy dog eyes. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, turns out just like us humans, dogs have tiny muscles in their faces. And over time, they've evolved to use those facial muscles to communicate with us. I mean, I could have told you that. These cameras set up at Great Falls in the US are typically used to capture the weather. But recently, they captured footage that is worth one very curious owl. 
I think it's ready for its close-up. Well, wasn't that amusing? Anyway, that's all we've got for you today, but we'll be back with plenty more tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see me do this. Done.